In the desolate remains of a post-apocalyptic world, I embarked on a solemn journey. Mounted on a faithful horse, we traversed the crumbling cityscape, its once vibrant streets now hauntingly silent. My mission was clear, driven by an unwavering determination to save the woman I loved. Armed with knowledge and desperation, I sought to cure my wife, who had succumbed to the terrifying fate of becoming a zombie. The weight of responsibility pressed upon me with every beat of my heart. As we rode through the desolation, I encountered hordes of the undead, relentless in their pursuit of human flesh. In a battle against the grotesque creatures, my weapons became an extension of my resolve. With each swing and each shot, I fought not just for survival, but for the slim chance of restoring my wife's humanity. The journey led me to an underground lab, my sanctuary amidst the chaos. There, surrounded by flickering lights and the scent of chemicals, I toiled tirelessly. With unwavering focus, I extracted vital substances from the decaying corpses of zombies, my hands guided by equal parts desperation and hope. Weeks turned into an eternal blur as I meticulously pieced together fragments of hope. In the midst of my tireless efforts, my gaze would often wander to the glass cage that held my wife, her once vibrant eyes, now clouded by a hollow sadness. Finally, the culmination of my labor stood before me, a vial containing the elixir of salvation. With a mixture of trepidation and anticipation, I approached the glass cage that held my wife captive. Her presence, a constant reminder of the love we once shared, spurred me forward. Finally, the moment of truth arrived. I carefully placed my wife upon the sterile lab bed. Injecting the serum into her veins, a glimmer of hope ignited within me. Time stood still as anticipation mingled with fear. But as the seconds ticked by, an anguished cry pierced the air, wrenching my heart. My wife writhed in agony, her eyes filled with torment. The cure I had labored over, the beacon of our salvation had betrayed us. Despair engulfed me as I stood witness to the cruel irony of our shattered dreams. My cries of anguish echoing in the confines of the lab. Grief consumed me, swallowing my being, leaving behind a smoldering ember of anger. The unfairness of it all ignited a fire within me, a blaze of rage against a merciless world. In that moment, I was shattered. Grief consumed me, ripping through my soul like a storm. The weight of loss threatened to crush my spirit, and I found myself standing on the precipice of despair. The edge of a building roof beckoned, promising release from the anguish that gripped me. But as I gazed upon the city below, I saw a sea of the undead stretching into the distance. A realization washed over me. I had a choice. No longer bound by the pursuit of a cure, my purpose shifted towards a vengeful mission, to eradicate the very affliction that had taken everything from me. Before marching into the battlefield, I'm placing a tender kiss upon her cheek. In a solemn gesture of love, I laid a single rose before her photograph, a symbol of the passion we once shared. With unwavering resolve, I awaited the approaching horde of the undead, their ghastly presence a testament to the horrors that had befallen our world. Clutching my weapon tightly, I stood poised, my eyes reflecting a steely determination. As the horde closed in, I leaped into action, defying the odds with a grace born of desperation. Armed with newfound fury, I ventured out into the unforgiving landscape. Each swing of my weapon carried the weight of my sorrow, each fallen enemy a testament to my unyielding spirit. 
The world around me faded into a blur as my anger propelled me forward, a force to be reckoned with. With every zombie I vanquished, I inched closer to redemption. My actions driven by the belief that by saving others from their nightmarish fate, I could transcend my own grief. And so, I marched into the heart of the Horde, a lone figure against a sea of darkness. With each step, I chanted a phrase that echoed through the desolation, a rallying cry for resilience and defiance. This would be my last stand, my legacy of overcoming grief and embracing the light amidst the shadows. Thank you.